Happy 2024 to the entire cast. Uh, congratulations on One Night Stay. This is an amazing movie. I w it would be incredibly remiss of me, Latoya. You did an amazing job at Malia. I want to go back to 2020. Your favorite moment of the year. Can you just tell us really quickly before I get into it about the DC5 moment? How was it? The poses? <laughs> Can you talk about that really briefly? Please. I ain't got nothing to do with this movie. No, I'm playing. <laughs> um, it, it, you know what? Like I said, it, it was so many leaps of faith that, that took place um, last year. Oh, last and, year. And doing things that... Um, just not being afraid of the unexpected. And I feel like I went into that particular moment with no expectations, but just a heart of gratitude and love. And I got that right back. Love, love, love is what was in that room, being able to catch up um, and have a first time moment. Like we'd never all been in the same place at one time, never um, yeah. in 20 some years. So that was, that was a remarkable experience. I'm so um, grateful that B created a, a space, a safe space for us to have that by, you know, allowing us to come to her show and, you know, be in the midst of her coming off stage and her family's there and the kids and, you know what I mean? In the midst of everything she had going on, she wanted this moment. And I just, I'm, I'm, I'm forever grateful um, that we got to have it because there's so many groups um, or just friendships that time passes, life happens, and you know something unfortunately could happen, and, and that moment never comes together. Um, so I'm I'm glad that we were able to experience that. And we are grateful for that moment. Um, can you let us in on any other information? Oh no! <laughs> Thank you. That's all I got. <laughs> That's that. all I got. So much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So I really want to ask really quickly. The movie is about love. And I want your opinion on this. I really want your opinion on this. Marcus was, you know, he's a cheater. When Andre comes up to the door, he's like, I don't know that girl. Like, we didn't do anything. So I want to know what is your definition or more of a showing of love and respect for a marriage? If a man lies to his wife to protect the marriage or he tells her the truth, knowing that that will be the demise of the marriage. Which one is a better showing of love and respect for the marriage? Well, telling the, the truth would be telling the truth would be the 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 show of love and respect. Um, you know, not cheating would be a, the, the show of love and it respect. Vows, man, before that had to happen. You know what I'm but saying? Also, um, but if if you were gonna if you were somehow you know put in a position where you you did that, the love and respect, the love and respect would be the uh, coming clean and and dealing with the consequences and just hoping that your your willingness to come clean would allow your wife to to see that you do respect her even though you made a mistake that was clearly disrespectful, at least you had the heart and the courage and the respect for her to come clean about it. I think accountability think is a love language. And I think it's it's sexy. Accountability is sexy, guys. I just want everybody to know that. When you take responsibility for your actions and you own up to it, and then you're honest about it and you give that other person an option, the option, the opportunity to make a decision based off of now having that information, I think that's that's the ultimate love of, I mean, ultimate show of like love and respect for that person. Oh, it's not a cheating, please don't do that. But, you know, I think considering that person's feelings and giving them the option is a show of, of love. I like that. <laughs>